windows, if you can close door, close it. For you to have eternal peace in your, I don't know, but let me say your eight years. <laughs> Sir, may God help you, Your Excellency. My counsel is to you. God will help you. Don't see more than what you are supposed to see. The moment you want to see more than you, you are supposed to see, you begin to see spiritual. <laughs> I know we go. I know we go. Now, if he, he say he will fight you, it's either you surrender or you look for that trouble to the end. God will not find you weakest problem. Oh. He has found you weakest favor. Remain in God's favor and weakest favor. I, I used to be a tough man. I used to be. Until I met you and realized that uh, troublemaker get level. <clears throat> because somebody will load a tire and say he will fight you, you have to find solution to your problem. So I made up my mind it is better to be with you than to be against you. <laughs> a lot of us here, we don't know when to stop. Align yourself. The Englishman says if you can't beat them, you join them. It's a very good advice. Me, I join you. I'm with you. And that will be the basis of my advice for the, for the new governor. The last four years was rather a tough experience of my life because I didn't have a successor. At midnight, Five minutes to, to midnight when I was supposed to leave office, AFCC surrounded my house. I look up, look down, who should I call? Because they will have made announcements and embarrass you. I called Governor Wiki. I said, Governor Wiki, please find more to make it come, bulletproof. And before you know it, he brought vehicles and they took me away out of the government house. Nobody knew where I was. And he kept me in his lodge, in his bedroom. The FCC were looking for me. Very early in the morning, they surrounded my house. Very early again. My brother came through the back, carried me inside the vehicle. They were waiting, my enemies were waiting for me. I was already there. And I had my vest on, EFCC. I am here. They wouldn't have allowed me to wear that T-shirt if it didn't come for me. He saved me the undue and unnecessary embarrassment. So I appear before EFCC in Europe, despite my challenge. While I came in, I said, our leader, I want to congratulate you. It wouldn't have been more wonderful, honorable for a man, more than a time like this in your life. Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. That was the former Governor Ayo Fayoshi of Ikiti State giving advice to Simi Fubara, the Governor of River State, after his victory at a reception to celebrate the man as the new sheriff in town. In that, meet, in that reception was also Dr. Peter Odele, former governor of River State. And uh, the crisis that River State is having today is likely because Simi Fubara failed to listen to the advice of Ayo Fayoshi. I don't know what to think about it, but I think that Fubara did the right thing by not listening to the advice of Ayo Fayoshi. It was that kind of advice that made someone like uh, President Bonham in Tinubu to have successive governors in his pocket in Lagos State at the detriment of the development of Lagos State.
Forget about whatever anybody can tell you. Lagos was worse off under Tinobu having it in his pocket. Lagos would have been much more than Dubai or much more than any place you can think of because of the amount of resources. Lagos is favored by the federal government. Imagine most of the ports used in Lagos, most of the ports used in Nigeria are based in Lagos, just by the fact that we have the eastern ports that were neglected. Look at all the commercial activities taking, taking place in Lagos. The banks are headquartered there. All the banks in Nigeria, they are headquartered in Lagos. It's not because of Bola and Tinobu. The Nigerian Stock Exchange is headquartered there. It's not because of Bola and Tinobu. So there's, but there's a lot of incentive, economic activity that are generated by all these commercial uh, entities, banks, insurance companies, multinational companies, because of Lagos' strategic location as a major entry port into Nigeria. If it had not been that Lagos was in the pocket of Bola Mutin, Lagos would have been far, far better. If it had had gov successive governors who have minds of their own, it would have been much more better. So, it is good. I don't know, some people, I've seen some people may look at it and say, oh, he, he could have listened to Ayo Fayoshe and then see what he should, and not see what he should not see. As the governor of River State, there is nothing in River State that Simi Fubara should not see. Simi Fubara, as the governor, has a right to see everything and to question everything. But if Hayashi was telling him that he shouldn't see what he should, he should not see, no. He should be able to see everything and question everything. And that's, this video is packed with a lot of lessons. And the explanation for why this country continue to suffer under development. If you're a governor, like Fayoshi was saying, he regretted not having a successor plan. So EFCC was waiting for him. If your hands are clean, you don't have to fear EFCC. If Fayoshi does his work well, even though he doesn't have a godfather, in fact, godfatherism is a handicap. So for him to be regretting that he didn't have a godfather, that was why EFCC was pursuing him, and he didn't have a successor plan. Therefore, since Yesuke had a successful plan, it means that Yesuke has handled the EFCC. EFCC will not disturb him, as they disturbed him, uh, fire share. So he was praising Yesuke for having a successful plan, and putting his successor. In fact, there was a video where, uh, where this issue was also reinforced by uh, the, the, the uh, Ijoa National Elder, uh, Said Wayne Clark, former Commissioner for Information, Federal Commissioner for Information. He was talking about that one of the reasons why Yesu Mike even gave the governorship position to Fubara was as a result of this EFCC issue, both to protect Fubara, allegedly to protect Fubara and to protect Yesu Mike. That was what uh, Edwin Clark alleged. But that was not supposed to be the issue. The issue is, if you are in a position of authority, do the right thing. If you do the right thing, even if they call you by midnight, EFCC, you go and answer them because you know you, your records are clear. Why, why is EFCC not harassing Peter Obi? Why is it that EFCC is holding the, his successor, the successor of Peter Obi, but not Peter Obi? EFCC is trying the successor of Peter Obi, but not Peter Obi. It's all about integrity, honesty. So the advice that Fire She gave was the wrong advice. And it is interesting. And to the credit of Fubara, he didn't listen to it. And that is because Fubara also understood that the essence of governance is to govern for the people and not for individual uh, uh, enrichment or individual benefit. Because he could have quite quiet like, like uh, uh, Fire she was advising him that he should just pretend that if he didn't see some things, 
She will pretend he didn't see them. So that since he doesn't see them, then no, no problem. He won't have problem. He will have his eight years. And he was warning him that uh, yes, okay, if you have problem with yes, okay, yes, okay, we'll go to Ali attend the land. Well, yes, okay, was able to do it because he was governing a state that has a lot of resources. That's why he can afford to, 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 to have enemies and still be able to contend them and fight them. Because River State is, is, is a wash with cash. And I have said it before, River State is one of the states where the governors are, have a lot of resources. That was why, if you look at all the different state governors since 1999, they have all tried for pre tried to become president. Or did they try it? He fell. Uh, Ambechi tried. He fell. Yes, we can try. He fell. But they always have their capacity to go for the highest job in the land because they have a lot of money in the first state. That's the truth. It's not that. Fire cannot continue to fight like yes, we can as he was over, uh, you know, praising him. It's because he knows he his handicap coming from a kiddie state. There's a limit to how much he can be able to afford to fight enemies, both near far and near. And you can see how he was talking about yes, we can help him. That could have been interpreted as an obstruction of justice. EFCC is looking for a somebody. You obstructed, you went and uh, removed him through the backyard. That was exactly the same thing we are about uh, Yahya Bello in recent time, where Yahya Bello was being looked for by the EFCC. It was alleged that the incumbent governor of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Kogi State also did similar things. So you can see how they have. It has become a custom in Nigeria for, for, for people to use their immunity to obstruct the course of justice against a governor that have, uh, a former governor that lost immunity. You understand that kind of thing? It doesn't speak well of us as a nation. So, but the important thing is that Fubara disregarded that kind of advice and uh, he is ready to face whatever has to be faced to protect the interests of River State. I think he deserves kudos for rejecting that kind of advice that uh, Ayo Fayoshe gave to him. It wasn't in the best interest of River State. It wasn't in the best interest of democracy. It is in the best interest of the Godfathers. And Godfatherism has never been favorable to any state, no matter what you think about it. That's my take. But whatever is your position on this, you can let us know it in the commentary. Uh, in the comment box so that we also hear your own side of the story whether he should have just did what Fubara should have does, done as 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 Ayo Fayoshe advice and close his eyes to what he's not supposed to see even if it's against the interest of the people of River State. Thank you for watching this video and if you are new to my channel you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel hit the subscription button hit the notification bell when you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell anytime i have a new video you'll be among the first to know god bless you and please don't forget to like this video because when you like it god will rank it high and recommend it for more people thank you and god bless you and yours